Hey guys, it's me, Vix123. Welcome to another episode of How to Minecraft. I'm back from Cypress, Iron Napa. Hopefully, whenever I can, daily streams and episodes will be continuing. But I am off to Germany next week, so the video preparation begins once again. I actually left um, Cyprus four or five days early, just so I could come and uh, keep up with the videos. But I love it as well. I enjoy it, so it's not it's not it's not purely uh, a selfless thing. So anyway, what are we doing today? Well, as you guys know, last episode we picked up some pretty easy wither skulls, killed a wither pretty easily, got ourselves another beacon. And uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be setting that up. So we have a decorative beacon now. My other beacon's still wherever I was mining with it last. So this new beacon, which I still need to get the obsidian for actually, which shouldn't be difficult to get. Um, we're gonna set up in a rainbow fashion using a design by Crew Productions that Tyler actually used in the previous season. That um, I've had a little bit of research into. I mean, I say five minutes. I hope I'm gonna be able to replicate it. That is the idea. So pretty much. We're going to get going with it. So first of all, we are going to need some redstone stuff. So redstone torches. I've got a spare redstone up there. So we've got some. We'll need a lever. We'll need a regular piston. We'll need a block of sand or gravel. I think I prefer sand if we have any. There we go. Grab some sand. We'll need a ton of repetters. Um, repetters? Repeaters? So let's make... In fact, we're going to need even more than that. We're going to need way more. Let's uh, let's use some of this newly acquired wood and get a ton of uh, ton of oh this is gonna be so many sticks. But hey, may as well honestly just make a stack of redstone torches. They get used up. They get used up. I should yeah. I'm just gonna start making everything in mad bulk just because I know I'm gonna need a lot of it. Probably gonna need even more than twenty surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly if you guys know how this design works. Then you'll see. But yeah, I actually yeah I think it's quite cool. I love kind of learning new designs and builds in Minecraft. And hopefully in the next season, I'll be able to do this off the top of my head like I have with a lot of machines in this season from last season. So that's what we need. Redstone, redstone repeaters. Let me just double check my ingredients list. Um, I will need a sticky piston. Oh, wait, actually, no, I need a ton of sticky pistons, which is fine. Do I have any slime? If not, I'll just go and buy some. Where would it be? Oh, I've got plenty. Actually, I think 12. I think I need 10. I'll get 12 anyway. Whatevs. So that is the main set of stuff. We need... I heard some salmon was stolen by me. Uh, we do have three new players on the server. Nade Shot, KOR Speedy, and Sidearms. So uh, hopefully I'll be seeing them around at some point. Getting them involved in some events or some sort of stuff like that. Wow, he went flying. So uh, yeah, that should be pretty cool. We've got some new peeps on here. So should be able to spice things up a little bit. And that was the idea anyway. A lot of them were requested by you guys pretty heavily. Okay, I'm going to quickly go and grab the obsidian. I'm sorry it's not done. I've been busy, all right? I've been busy. I've been busy going places and doing stuff. Um, I'll tell you, that's kind of a, probably a quite grind-worthy part of this build where I'm clearing out the space at the bottom for all the system where the beacon's going to sit. So I'll tell you all about all about my, my, my vacay, my break, um, when we're working on that. Super breaker should just be able to smash this up super quick. Super breaker, super quick. Let's see, here we go. Super breaker, activate. In fact, I'm gonna... I need Dap Strider badly. Is that really all Super Breaker is gonna do for me? To be fair, I need like five obsidian, so actually, does a decent job. Mines it like it was iron or something. And we got it all 12. That felt... didn't feel like 12, but that was 12 apparently. So there we go, so that's all good. Okay, let's, uh, let's jump back to home. Let's make this beacon. This beacon. This beacon. No, no. It's not bacon. There we go. Beacon. Boom. Set up. We're going to need iron blocks, which we can just. I'm so glad I don't have much carpet in my house, otherwise, that would have been bad. Where'd my disc go? There we go. Let's mix it up, actually. Valuables. Let's pull some strad in. There we go, what a, what a huge tune in the Minecraft scene, almost as good as the tunes they had out in Iron Apple. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> um, where was I? Building, building, building. So, this is where you guys get to decide. Beacon location. I can have it through here, so it comes all the way through the floor, up to here, up through the roof and out the top of the mountain. Or, I could have it, as I previously suggested, coming straight up through the middle of this balcony, so through the floor, all the way up here and above. I'm actually leaning towards a balcony option, but I want to see what you guys have to say. It's as much your series as it is mine, because you'll be able to see it from outside more. You know, it'll be a lot of inside beacon space. So we'll see what people see what people say. I broke a lever. Yeah, I did, actually. You're right. You're right. Where did that even go? Yeah, 
Okay, I went there. Okay, perfect. Um, most people are saying the balcony anyway. Balcony. So we can go for that. Have we got everything else we're going to need for the most part? I'd say so. I would say so. We need more iron blocks than that. Should have some in here. There we go. Get that up to nine. Take the spare iron. Okay, I think that's going to be everything we need to start building. I think that's going to be it. So, let's uh, let's find the midpoint. So, I believe it's just here. One, two. One, two. Wait. One, two. Yep, yeah, it's right here. Don't mind me. I'm going to break this tree down as well. I feel like it cramps the style. There we go. Tree's gone. Okay, we're still lined up. And away we go. I could even create some, maybe even a fountain down here that the beacon rises up through. That could be cool. So here we're going to do some digging down. Probably down to bedrock just to make sure that this is uh, super far away. Make this is super far away. Um, there we go. This rain though got you. Set it to sun. There we go. Good guy, Vic. Dropping out the cash stacks for the man. For the man squad. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go down to bedrock just so I hopefully don't hear the piston sound. Because this is going to be quite loud. Actually, come to think of it, I should probably have a quick way up and down here. Is my way up and down just going to be to home and come back? Um, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that was a uh, nice greeting. You know what? This, this point here can work. I can make this work. I can dig it. We'll clear out some space here. This means the start of our machine is actually ready to go. A cave that someone's already explored. Fairly common thing down here. They should actually, yeah, make life a little easier. So we're going to have the beacon placed down in here. Should probably light up this area just so. Oh, it is already lit up for the most part. So we don't get mobs bothering us as we're building away. Okay, so. We need to center. The beacon is going to go there. And that, I think, goes all the way up to Nietzsche's head up there. I hope. I hope that that's lined up. I think it is. Okay. So, is this far enough down? I'm going to dig one layer into this, just, just for the sake of it. Just to get that minimum height. Um, yeah, we did record a battle down, um, as you see from Matt. It was a good game indeed. So, uh, you guys will get to see that later on today. Oh, you know, I'm going to need to make a hole in Matt's face, actually, so this beacon lights up, come to think of it. Because it's actually blocked to sky height. Which is fine. This is going to be the quite tedious bit. But I'm going to kind of get the pattern going. And then I'll just follow it up. Um, so let me pull up my uh, little my little guide. So it's going to go something a little bit like this. Where am I going to have the circuitry? Probably out this way. So I'm going to need to have this run down to there. So it's going to run like this. Like this and like this and it's going to continue around in some sort of a pattern some sort of a pattern right here now the pattern itself is not something i'm 100 percent on but um so it runs to the midpoint there would be a i believe it would be there but there would be a sticky piston there then a block then a block then it would run to a corner like here and continue kind of upwards. This is going to be a big space to clear out. Come to think of it. So it's going to run like this. Up to here. Up to here. Then it needs to continue up once at a time. So it's going to be redstone repeaters with two ticks of delay. Leading to here. Then I think it would lead straight up again almost. Um, actually. It, no. Sorry. Yeah. I'd power that block. We'll, we'll get there with this. So actually I power that block. And then the space next to it is filled up like this. And then there'd be a, if I have a sticky piston, one would sit like this. And it's going to kind of rainbow activate these with the correct delay. So we get something funky going on. So that activates, that activates, and it goes round ten times, I believe, is the way design the design goes. So we need to clear out kind of this whole space pretty much. And I'm going to put in the frameworks myself, I think. And then this would run to here. And there would be a repeater here with two ticks of delay again. Here I'm going to need to actually bring this around. Maybe, I don't know if it is best to leave this manually open. There's going to be, I could do and then start using cobblestone to build the rest of it. That could work. That could work out in my favor. 
So then we're going to have that like that. There's going to be that there. I think this is how it goes. Yeah, it's going to continue around like this. Then it's going to go up again. Damn it, I wish I wasn't live streaming this. I wish I was recording this because I could get this done. And then obviously that's going to be a sticky piston as well, which will be one higher than the rest. Look at that. See, this is when I wish I wasn't live streaming and I wish I was um, just recording because I could... In fact, maybe I will. Maybe I'll edit this out, actually, when it comes to making the video. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll work out something. I'll work out something or other. But yeah, anyway, while I'm kind of continuing this pattern upwards, you know, I'm actually going to struggle at this. I can just tell. I can just tell already. I struggle at the simplest of things. The simplestest of things. Then we have the repeater there. Two ticks of delay. Then there would be a block there. Okay. You know, I can't. I can't do it. Something so simple. I I can't I can't multitask on. I can't. Can I do it? I don't know. Like this this should not require a lot of thought. It just shouldn't. It just should not. But for some reason with me, it does. It does. It does. It does. So this goes like this. I'm just copying a pattern. Copy paste. Copy pasta. But yeah, I struggle. Let's uh, let's cut all this out for now. Oh wait, only roads roads up to there. But to be fair, we've got the square region set, so let's just go super breaker. Ooh, that actually makes life a bit easier. There we go. Look, we're being very precise with this. That is actually gonna make my life a ton of a ton of a lot easier. We got super lucky with the positioning. I think it is two ticks. Let me double check. No, it's actually one tick. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. Sorry, yeah, two ticks is actually like that. Let me correct that before we go too far. We're making actually good progress with this, so if you guys don't mind, I'm going to try and make progress with this. So anyway, yeah, Cyprus had an awesome, awesome time. Weather was absolutely perfect, about 30-ish degrees. Um, went out with a bunch of the guys that I live with and three of our friends. Um, yeah, just had you know a really good time. Went out in the evenings, hung out in the day. Um... There were, you know, we had pools in the villas. We had three villas that we were staying in. There'll be a vlog of this on my main channel at some point in the near future, whenever I find the time to edit it up. It was all good. We went out, like, uh, we went on, like, boat parties, all sorts of, all sorts of fun stuff. Just what you'd expect from a holiday somewhere nice and sunny uh, like that. So, uh, yeah, we did all of that, and uh, they're out there for a few more days. I decided to, like I say, come back and get some video stuff done. Um... One thing that I did tweet about that did unfortunately happen is my phone got stolen last night on the last night. Absolutely tragic. Literally, some guy snatches it out of my hands when we're walking from one club to another and he just ran. He was gone. We chased him for about 500 meters. He was just legging it. He was jumping over wa like walls and stuff. I was just like, well, rip that phone. Went home, went on to find my iPhone, um, erased all the data on it. Luckily, um, cancelled the SIM card, so it's just a case of getting a new one when I get a chance, which is, it's just annoying, like, I'm more annoyed about what was on the phone than actually the phone itself, I had vlog footage on there, I had, um, I had, you know, photos from the trip, you know, fun videos and stuff, but hey, these things happen, I guess it could have been worse, I could have been, like, attacked or something and mugged, or they could take my wallet or something, so, not the end of the world, but, um, yeah, I probably won't be doing as many tweets and stuff over the next few days, because while I'm out and about, I won't actually have a phone with me, so that's that, um, side of things, is this still going all right? I think it is. I've lost track of how, how many blocks up I've brought this, but this is, I think it's going all right. But yeah, that's, that's, that's that whole situation. Not ideal, but you know, I'm kind of glad it just, it happened to you on the last night. It was like literally the last bit of the last night we were out there. Um, so I could just, the thing is, it was on the journey home. I realized how dependent I was on my phone. Like I'm like, oh, I just put my boarding pass. Oh wait, I don't have it. I was like, Oh, wait, let me, uh, because I had a mobile boarding pass, couldn't get that. And then I was like, oh, wait up a second. Like, I'll just look this up. I'll just search this up. Couldn't do it. Um, at one point, I was on my laptop and the Wi-Fi in the uh, airport was rubbish. And I was trying to uh, check up on my videos. And I was like, oh, you know, what? I'll just tether from my phone. Some mobile internet. Oh, wait, I don't have my phone. <laughs> so, yeah, there's it it a lot of times it's a bit annoying that I couldn't look at train times or anything when I got back. But these things happen. Just got to look on the bright side. Um, oh, wait, that should be fair. Why have I, why have I removed that? That goes like that. I think I need to, if I, I had 12 and I need to get up to one more. So I think this is actually, I think this is it. I think that's the last one there. So I think I can just leave that like that. So that should work. So those should all activate. 
with some degree of delay. Here, let's test it. So if I go... That's the idea. That is the idea. We have stained glass up there, different cars, and it's going to rotate, alternate around, and look extra funky fresh. That's the plan. At least now I just need to get the circuitry sorted. And then I need to get the stained glass as well. I'm not sure how easy that will be. But uh, we'll work it out. Um, I got back just about two hours ago. already recorded a Battle Dome video. So it'll be going up later tonight and uh, recording this video. So that's all good. Okay, the circuit side of things. I'm not going to pretend I know how this thing works to, to a T. So I'm pretty much um, following a design here. I believe we have two ticks on there. So there should be 22 in total. Yeah, 22 in total, including that one. 22 ticks is the golden number. Then this continues another two. Then this would be, there's three repeaters and three repeaters. And these have, there's a maximum delay, maximum delay. Then I think this is just two ticks. Let me see. I think this is just one, actually. Is it one or is it two? You can't even copy the guy that he's following. And then this goes one, two, three. I think these are maxed out. If we've got it wrong, we'll soon enough now. So that goes like that. Okay. Then down here at the end of this, we have a solid block. That's going to act as our on-off switch as well. So we might as well clear out a bit of space here. I am literally just following a guide here. Um, but basically, it's gonna, this creates a 22-second cycle that goes around here. So this is where I need the sand and the piston. Um... So this going up and down is going to activate and deactivate the system. Now, how are we going to do this? Can I... Should I do something dumb? <laughs> oh, well, it worked. It worked. Okay, so we have that there. Hey, bat. Uh, so that's going to run up and down like that. Then there's a repeater going into it. With I'm not sure how much delay. Should have done my homework more. Then just a block with a button on it, which we can make very easily. Which we can make very easily if we use our brain cells. I'm going to double check the delays. I'm just going to quickly pull up the video that I'm following. And double check the uh, delays on those. Yeah, so it's this one here is set correctly. I think. If I got these going the wrong way. Wait, let me wait. Hold up, hold up. Hold up a second. So this is going to run down to here. And that's going to be powered. Wait, let's cut it off from there so we don't make a mess. If I power this, what happens? How does that even work? Hold up. Um, Think with your head. Are these the wrong way around? These are the wrong way around. It goes back around that way because it powers that block and then that powers the redstone back. So one, two, three. I think these are all maxed out. Yes, they are. Got this a little bit backwards there, and then this goes one, two, three, and this is where you want to add. So that's that's um, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-two. So that will match up with the eleven uh, repeaters going up that way, with two ticks of delay on each of them for a twenty-two and twenty-two. So now, if you see, look, this is going to cycle. Look at that. Um. Is that, yeah, that's supposed to cycle, isn't it? Why doesn't it? Is there supposed to be some redstone there? Is that supposed to happen? Wait, how does this, how does this cycle? Let me check up. I've definitely, I always, I always miss one little thing, and it just means that nothing works, and it's always great, isn't it? Um, that should just, oh, wait, okay, now there's a, uh, is there a thing of redstone there? Aha, there's a thing of redstone here before this piston. Okay, I know what I've done. Well, I, I know now what I've done wrong. One sec. Luckily, I can just place this off there now. This needs to be moved along one. And let's throw this out. Put this in here. So the sand goes here. I think this is how it goes. Yeah, and then we have a repeater with two ticks of delay going into there. Like I say, I'm no redstone expert. I think, like, kind of learning stuff like this will make me get slightly better. And then there's going to be a block there, I think, that would send that. Does that go around? 
Yes, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That's our 22 second delay. That's the on off. And then what I would need to do is uh, add this here with just a lever on. This can be our on off. So if I do want to shut down the system, we just pull that out of the way and it's going to stop. It's going to die when it gets to there. Then that's on. Power it up. And that's going to cycle. If I'm a genius, this is already working. Let's see. It's not, I don't think that's as fluent as it should be. Let's see, where do we get the delay wrong? Got one tick. That should have just worked. Did I get the delay wrong somewhere? I don't think I did, unless it was just a bit of server lag. That could be the case. Those should all just run up to position, all good. Let's see, let's try it again. Actually, that looks about right. That looks about right. So now I need to get the stained glass and place it on top. Let's, let's power down the system. It would be kind of easy just to break and re-break that rather than use this. Okay, so that's, that's that section done. Now if I go here and I do slash top, we can get to here and create the gap. It's going to allow the beacon beam to fly up through. There we go. That's the old one from there. Okay, let's drop down to the balcony. Oh, no, I've... Oh, God, thank God for the dodge. <laughs> that would have been close. I know that much. Wait, the third repeat from the top is wrong, apparently. Okay, I'll go and change that when I next head down that way. I'm going to sell out all of this. So, hand. So, I need to make the rainbow next. I need to make the rainbow, which is not easily done. The rainbow, the rainbow. So, we're going to need stained glass. We need blue. We will need all of our dyes coming through. Take some red dye, take some pink, take some lime. How do you make glasses just next to it, right? Or is it now surrounding? Okay. Damn it, I have to make a fair bit of this. There's our pink glass. Surely I have red somewhere. Yep, yeah, red. Um, what other colours that we can need? We need... Right. Um, Richard of York gave battle in vain. Red, orange, yellow, green, bit blue. Indigo, violet. Okay, that's that's a rainbow. That's how a rainbow works. So, we've got red. We need orange, which is yellow and red. Do we have any yellow dye making stuff? This, all right, here we go. Yellow dye. Let's get some orange. There we go. We're going to need more glass, but that's easily acquired. There we go. Red, orange, just straight yellow we'll need. Are we actually out of glass? Uh, we've got some more here. Sure, we'll get some more from the shop soon. <laughs> Where's the yellow dye? Wait, hold up. I just used... Did I use all my... Did I just use all my yellow dye? No, I didn't. I have some. Okay, we're cool. We're actually doing all right so far. So good. Yellow. Red, orange, yellow. Green. We'll use lime for that. Then blue. Then... Uh... Now, after blue, there's, an, there's a Minecraft order which works better for this. And it goes... Um, oh, it goes lime, then it actually uses cactus green, green. Which I think we have some of. Cactus green, green. We pull this in. We need to make some inventory space. Let's throw out some obsidian. And just throw out some bricks. I think we might be able to get this done today. Then... Oh, we're actually cyan. That's green and blue, isn't it? Which is easily done. We just need some more. Where's the cactus green again? Pull that out with some lapis. We're going to get some more glass. Slash warp shop. Here we go. Easily acquired with our riches. Oh, wait. Inventory full. Throughout that. Never know when you can need it. Slash home. Okay. What was the next thing I was going to make? Some inventory space, for one. We can, you know, let's throw away all the redstone stuff for now. I feel like I might have made it slight. I need a dyes chest as well. <laughs> I need many things. I need many things in my life. What, why did I take out the cactus green? I need it. Okay, chill, chill, chill. There we go. Get the cyan. And throw that in. That's in between the green and the blue. 
Then from the blue, we go to purple. Purple is just straight red and blue, which is very easily done. Red and blue. Here we go. Is it purple that we, purple that we go to? I feel like it's... What different colors are there? There's purple, there's... I'm missing something. I've got purple and pink. There's something, there's more colors. Red, orange, yellow, lime green, green, cyan. Oh, there's there's actual blue. There's light blue. I get this. Wait, how do I get light blue? It's bone meal, isn't it? Okay, let's get some bone meal, which is in here. Sure, slime can go in there. <laughs> let's get some light blue. How do you make light blue? Oh, wait. No, it's got to be this. There we go. Light blue. Get out of here, lapis. Get some of that. That's going to go in there, I think. That's, wait. Actually, I think it goes, which order would this go? I think it would go like that, so it would get darker. Then, let's throw out that. Okay. Then, what else would I have? So, there's purple, magenta. Is there another colour that's like those? I think there is, and there's one more colour. No, maybe there isn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Purple, pink. Okay. That took a little bit of time, but I think we have all of the glass that we require. We can pick up this junk now. Let's throw these up in here. Doesn't want to give me it back, whatevs. Okay, can we survive the drop? Let's do it in two halves. Drop down to here. I took that damage. Throw these back on. I think I can make it. That is a really long, whoa, that is a really long way, but we're fine. Okay, so let's place in the colors and pray. And the third from the top apparently is incorrect. At least I'll have Next time I need colored dial, a colored glass, I'll just be like, yep, I got it all. Okay, I just pray that this works. I pray that this works, otherwise it's just all this time for nothing. Okay, so one, two, three from the top. Yes, you guys are right. My streamer detective genius is. Okay, so, supposedly, if I enable it and hit it. I think that's working. I think that is in business right there. I think Rainbow Beacon is online. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head home. Look at this lucky number sevens down here. I feel like I need to. Look at my hotbar. How fresh is my hotbar? Have we been successful? Well, there's only one way to truly find that. is to go over this way. And behold. D um... Um, um, no, go. Ah, oh dear. What's happened here? Why is this not doing what it's supposed to do? You forgot pink. Oh, I forgot to place pink down. That's true, but even so, this is not changing color. Is it the server lag? Is it? I don't even know what this is right now. Let's, you can't, you can never expect things just to go your way, can you? Can I have that dirt, please, so I can fix the floor. That is not what I meant to do. Now I've messed up my perfect hotbar. Let's just replace all this. There we go, that works almost perfectly. Let's get the shovel out. The cliff side has been reformed now. Okay, um, we need to go and do some investigation as to what has gone wrong. What have gone wrong? What have gone wrong for me today? Right, down we go. Oh, that dodge. Actually, yeah, I probably could have died then. So let's put the pink one on. That's true. Hello, skeleton. Now's not the time. Oops. Damn you. I'm just gonna get that back now. Where did that go? Inventory space is a nightmare. Oh, you know, I could actually make this a speed beacon as well. I may as well. I could even make it a full full thing beacon. Alright, let's throw that in. May as well just give it a bit of speed, even though everyone has speed anyway. But hey, now everyone gets complimentary speed in my domain. Okay. 
So why is this not working is the question. Where is the delay incorrect? Right, there we go. See, look, from here, from here it works perfect. Look at that. That's what we were looking for. Look at that, it rainbows. But why at the surface does it not rainbow? I guess it's just once you get far enough away from it, it's just like, nope, rip. Wow, he got hit with the wreck. Okay, anyway, let me light this section up as well. At least you can't hear it from the surface, that's good. It looks great from down here, I just don't know why on the surface it's getting no ratings. Yes, I know I'm placing a lot of torches. Okay. Let's, uh... Look, that's perfect, that's what we want. Look at that, that's so pretty. Okay, slash... Up here, it's like, nope, I'm a yellow beam. I'm a white beam. I'm a blue beam. Damn it. Should we go for a clutch water bucket? We'll re-equip the leggings anyway, just in case we die. Will I clutch the water bucket play of destiny? I didn't. I, w I would be... Oh, no. Oh, no! 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 Oh! Yo, I just saved the day. That would have ripped all of the redstone. Oh, gosh. <laughs> See, look, down here, it's all good. Oh, my gosh. I need to stop. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> oh, well, at least down here, it looks good. At least down here, it looks all good. It's fine. It's fine. It works. Thing is, I would bring that up to the surface, but it would just be so noisy. It's fine. We know at heart. It's, it's a good one. Slash jump. What happens if I jump there? I'm here. You can't use jump for another. Well, anyway, that's the uh, the rainbow beam. And uh, now you guys know how to uh, make it too. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the series. Got a nice build completed. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed all that good stuff. Your thoughts, ideas, suggestions. All that. And I'll see you all in the next episode of the series. Thanks and goodbye.